I, like many others, tend to feed off the world around me. What's happening in my little world affects my outlook, my responses, and my mood. When I'm surrounded by good friends, love, and all the sunshine and warmth that life can bestow, I live a stress-free, contented existence. When the bad things in life are rearing their ugly heads, like the bills, the schedule, or human nature, I feel constantly stressed, mean, and just plain old unhappy. When I reach my limit of bad things, I have to get away. Sometimes the getting away is only in my mind, but I usually just go out for a drive. At those times, I call on Mother Nature to heal my troubled soul. Experiencing the real, natural world around me has always calmed and inspired me. One of the biggest loves in my life is animals. I love animals, so I tend to notice them first when I'm out driving around. Animals are so uncomplicated, basic. When you touch them, they can feel soft and cuddly or rough and bristly, but you can always feel the life inside them with just that touch. Animals, though, can be dangerous and deadly if need be. They're just living as God intended. Mother Nature also provides us with land. There's nothing that can bring you closer to her than feeling the warm earth sift through your fingers. The land provides us with a rich bounty. The crops that grow on the land provide us with needed nourishment. Flowers give us beauty, variety, color. Is there anything that compares to the deep red of a rose or the bright yellow of a sunflower? Flowers can also give us nourishment and medicines essential to our survival. But at the same time, th some things that grow on the land give us poisons, toxins, nettles, and thorns. The land is also the home for trees, providing a route for their nourishment and a place for their roots to grow. Trees always give it, or also give us many things that we need, such as fruits and nuts, sap and bark. And isn't it a pleasure to sit in the cool shade of a tree when the hot Texas sun is high in the sky? And what a wonderful playground they make for children. The trees themselves have contrasts from the sometimes smooth, cool leaves to the rough, hard bark. The deep greens of the leaves contrast well with the hundreds of shades of brown, gray, or white in the bark. While the trees provide us with many things, they can also become weapons when Mother Nature releases her fury. They can be magnets for the lightning, or they can fall on a house during an especially tough storm. And Mother Nature herself is a study in contrast. She provides the sunshine so essential to our survival. That wonderful warming sun that makes the beach such fun in the summertime. That rain that makes the crops, flowers, trees, and children grow. But that same sun can cook everybody and everything when it's turned up too high. Mother Nature provides us with a life-sustaining rain so necessary to us all. Is there anything better than sitting on the front porch, watching the rain fall gently and hearing it hit your roof in the springtime. But then there are the extreme storms, a change of season, or during the time of hurricanes. Boy, can they do some damage. Taking my replenishment drives reminds me that the contracts in, contrasts in life are just a part of life for all of us. She reminds me that my huge problems are small. Each problem is just like a raindrop that falls in a puddle just one drop in the whole of my life. The rest of the drops are the sunshine, the rains, the beauty and colors surrounding me every day just waiting to be noticed again. Mother Nature works her wonders on me when I take the time to enjoy her gifts. I'll have to do it more often.